Shalom. Barak to Yahweh, Barashim, Yahweh Shah, Barashim Kadash, all praises and glories, definitely do, especially in the times we're living in. Much respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and to all the brothers out there doing the work. I say Shalom. All right, this lesson is going to be titled Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. All right. And we're going to get into the etymology of words here, all right, besides getting into the precepts, to give you what? Further understanding. Because this is how the scriptures are understood, and this is how they're read. Now, before I get into the lesson itself, let me say this. Uh, the other day, um, while I was... Uh, uploading videos, as we always do every day. Uh, there was uh, a message that was sent. It was put up <laughs> like 13 uh, minutes prior to me coming to one of my pages. All right. And uh, the statement was that why do we uh, put up scripture, you know, which is, sounds like hate speech. And you know what? This is old news, right? First of all, all right, we're reading the scriptures, all right? And the Lord is about a balance, and many of all, period, just simply don't know the scriptures. You just don't know them. And you don't know the Lord. And you come with false accusations, like saying that the scriptures are hate speech. Well, if that was the case, then the scriptures would have been outlawed a long time ago. Okay? So the scriptures are not hate speech. The scriptures are prophecies, historic truths. Okay? Allegories, dark sayings, parables. And this is not given on to everyone to understand. So, but this guy played himself. Okay? And I forget who his name was that he used, and who the hell knows if it was his real name. The point is, is that he said that, you know, uh, you know, the, the Lord is, is, is not just... Uh, you know, coming back for the minorities. So this guy has no understanding of the scriptures, all right? You're not going to find uh, the minorities as a race or a people in, the, uh, in Genesis chapter 10, which gives you the, uh, you know, the uh, 18 nations that he created. It's not in the table of nations, all right? You understand that? So he has a problem with all of it. He can't even understand uh, any of the breakdowns in the scriptures, not understanding that when you go to break down the 12 tribes of Israel, which are in the scriptures, it all points back to the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans in this country. And the Latino Native Americans are basically the Northern Kingdom, the 10 tribes who came here after their Assyrian captivity. And again, that's in the scriptures. And they want to talk about that it's hate speech to read out the scriptures, all right, to tell you about it. And by the way, that's also backed up in circular history because Edomite scholars were writing about the northern kingdom going back to the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries, okay? And I have many of those books, as many as the elders and the other brothers do. You understand? So you're an unlearned person, whoever that individual was. You are unlearned. Then he goes on to say that the Lord is coming back to save everyone. That's not in the scriptures. Okay, so I couldn't answer this guy because he took down his video immediately. You know, uh, his, um, his comment, excuse me, 
So lock you for that. He took down his comment. All right? So he's no different than any other scorner that has come on the comment board and um, made these same claims. And again, of course, he gives you no scripture whatsoever. He's just simply making a statement without any scripture to back it up. And what usually happens to all of these? Well, they get put in their place, just exactly what I'm doing right now. All right, so to say that, you know, uh, he's uh, not just coming back for the minorities, he's coming back to save everybody. Well, you know what that is? That's a Christian doctrine. That's a false doctrine. All right? Created by the Vatican. Okay, Roman Catholicism. All right? And you people don't understand that they're... Uh, they created their own doctrines and canon laws. That's what the Council of Trent was all about. I'll guarantee you, he doesn't know that. All right? Or doesn't realize it. He doesn't realize it's a false doctrine. Okay? Because he believes what he's been told. He doesn't know the scriptures. Let's prove that to you. Okay? Because first of all, the Lord has a chosen people. Okay? He has a chosen people. All right, and if we go to Deuteronomy uh, 7 and 6, all right, for thou art holy people unto the Lord, Yahweh, thy God power, and the Lord, thy God power, have chosen thee, see that? And by the way, when you were chosen, you were chosen as a spirit, when you were created as a spirit. So you were chosen before the foundation of the world. And the scriptures does tell you that. And that it's only talking to Israelites. You have to get into the blue letter, the Bible concordance, and you have to get into the word election. And that will tell you that. All right? It'll break it down for you. And again, that it's only talking about Israelites who were chosen. So they were chosen among the 12 tribes that are made up of the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Now, mind you, we always tell you, starting with our elders on down, that we have Israelites that are going to look like the other nations. Why is that? Because we were scattered into all nations, again, simply like based on James 1 and 1. The Israelites scattered abroad. All right? That stuff is all over the scriptures. All right? about us being scattered, all right, the diaspora, the dispersion, okay? This stuff gets deep, people, and you have to know these scriptures in order to what? To have the full understanding. This isn't about uh, reciting uh, scripture word for word in one particular scripture. This is about knowing the whole book, as it says in Ezekiel, uh, the third chapter you know, which uh, Elder Apostle Tahar always quote. You know, take this roll and eat it. This roll represents the scriptures, the entire scriptures. You have to absorb it and eat it, okay? In order to get the full understanding of these scriptures, all right? So anyway, so you were chosen before the foundation of the world, before the world began, he chose thee, to be a special people unto himself, above, I repeat, above all people that are on the face of the earth. That's what the Israelites represent, the 12 tribes. They are above the other 17 nations who are, let's say, Esau, Edom, the white man, plus the other 16 heathen nations, which would mean the Ishmaelites, the Moabites, the Anamites. You understand, people? All right? How about another scripture? All right? How about another one? Let's go. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. This is 2nd Ezra 6. 54 to 56. After these, Adam who thou madest, Adam also whom thou madest, Lord, of all thy creatures, all right? Him come we all, 
right? Again, there were many Adams, there were many Eves, all right? Again, made up of the 18 nations. Do you understand that, people? The earth was broken down into three parts of men. The sons of God, who would later, after Jacob is born, be known as Israel and, of course, the Israelites. But in the beginning, they were known as the sons of God. Okay? And the other uh, parts, you have the, uh, the sons of uh, the wicked. Okay? Who are the ungodly. Right? Which is the lesson we're going to be dealing with in a few moments. All right? And then you have the sons of men. Okay? So the sons of God, who are the Israelites. Okay? The sons of the wicked, who are the Edomites. Okay? And you have the sons of men, which represent the other 16 heathen nations. All right? Do you people get it? Do you understand that? Okay, when you read about the serpent in the garden, okay, that's uh, an allegory, that's symbolism, representing one of the sons of the wicked. In order to know that and prove that, you have to get into the words of subtile and serpent, all right, and then hit a couple of other precepts. And you read this when you're reading the story in Genesis, the third chapter there, how the serpent was more subtile than anybody else in the field. The field represents the earth. But again, if you don't get into the etymology of words, you will never understand that. All right? All right. So, again, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. See? The Lord has the chosen people, and that's the Israelites. And just like he had us for the first covenant. He's also choosing us for the second covenant. Okay? And you people have a problem with that. This is all written in the scriptures. How in the hell is this hate speak? What? Am I, am I making this up? Or are the elders making this up? No. What you have a problem with is truth. And that's what we bring across here is truth. All this I have spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. I repeat, all this I have spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. For whose sake? The Israelites, the 12 tribes. Okay? There's a quote that you can read in uh, by Ronald Sanders, Promised Land. On page 365, I believe. Okay? And it quotes, all right, that, you know, there were these uh, two guys, Montesinos and Francisco, and they met up with uh, certain Israelites, right, coming on a canoe. And they spoke about how, you know, they're from the tribe of Reuben, all right, and that uh, the tribe of Joseph is just down here, all right, and Manasseh, okay, and Joseph, you know, uh, talking about Ephraim, all right, who were called Tainos, Arawaks, you know them as the Puerto Ricans, but that the head tribe of the northern kingdom, of the ten Indian tribes, all right? See, how do I know that? That's not made up, people. All right? That's in the scriptures and that's in circular history. Okay? It's not made up. All right? As for the other people which also come from Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. You see that? Talking about the other nations outside of Israel, outside of the 12 tribes, that the other people which also come from Adam, thou hast said they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. You see that? Now, you want to call that hate speech? That's in the scriptures. And that the Lord has said this. Okay? And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. 
See that? All right, we'll end this here. We'll be right back with part two. Shalom.